your spirit. According to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always. Whoever loves me will keep my word. And my father will love him, and he will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Those who do not love me do not keep my words, yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the father who sent me. I have told you this while I am still with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit. Last week was Ascension Sunday, and the words from the gospel that we looked at were these You are clothed with the power from on high. You are clothed with the power from on high. The Feast of the Ascension. I mentioned last week that the Feast of the Ascension and the Feast of Pentecost are twin feasts. They go together. And so on this Feast of of Pentecost, we hear in the first reading, they were filled with the Holy Spirit. They were filled with the Holy Spirit. Do you remember the words of that first reading? The people had gathered there. And the Holy Spirit came down upon them like tongues of fire. Sylvie, do you want to come forward? You bring your thing. Come on, Sylvie. So the Holy Spirit came down upon God's people like tongues of fire of fire. Oops, oops. That's great. So like tongues of fire. And then they began to speak. And although they came from so many different lands and different countries, all with different languages, they all understood one another. And they were able to speak to one another and be understood. My sisters and brothers, on this feast of Pentecost, let's pray that the Holy Spirit will come down upon us. Let's pray that the Holy Spirit will make a home in us. Let's pray that the Holy Spirit, alive in us, will flow from us and touch other people. If you want to stand and sing, please do. Light of the world, you step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. Beauty that made this heart adore you. Hope of a life spent with you. So here I am. 
am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. King of all days, oh so highly exalted, glorious in heaven above. Humbly you came to the earth you created, all for love's sake became more. So here I am to worship. we pray that the Holy Spirit will come down upon us and find a home in each of us. My brothers and sisters, I invite you to be seated. This photo was taken at the confirmation of a number of our kids and obviously uh, an adult there as well. And one of the things that Bishop Steve does is to hold his hands out like this. And he calls the people, the kids, to also hold their hands out. A sign asking the Holy Spirit to come down. A sign asking the Holy Spirit to fill our children who are to be confirmed. But he also asks the congregation. He says to the congregation, stretch out your hands, hold them like this, praying for our confirmandi, praying that the Holy Spirit will come down upon them. I've always loved these pictures, these photos of our kids and adults waiting, waiting for the Holy Spirit to come down upon them in the sacrament of confirmation. You might remember last week, I asked two questions, and you'll see why now. The first question was this, 
Have you had, have you, have you had a transformational, life-changing encounter with Jesus Christ in the last 12 months? Anyone here who has had a transformational, life-changing encounter with Jesus our Lord in the last 12 months? If you're sitting here, I invite you to come forward and come and join me at the front. So if there's anyone here who's had a transformational, life-changing encounter with Jesus Christ, well, good on you, Jacob, uh, Isaac. Any others? In the last 12 months, anyone who's had a life-changing, transformational encounter with Jesus Christ in the last 12 months, So Isaac is preparing for the sacraments this year. This daughter of God, she had a brain tumor, a really serious operation. Not one, not two, but I think three operations, wasn't it? Two. Don't spoil the story. <laughs> Glenn. Lovely to have you here. And, oh, Jody, no. Katie. Katie was received into the church uh, this Easter. So let's pray for them because they've had some sort of life changing, transformational encounter with Jesus. So I invite you to raise your hands, praying that the Holy Spirit will come down upon them. Isaac, if you want to hold your hands open like this. Christ be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the goodness. Christ be our light, shine in your church gathered today. So almighty God, send your Holy Spirit. Send your Holy Spirit upon these, your sons and daughters that they may continue to follow your Son, Jesus Christ, and allow the Holy Spirit to find a home in them and to work in and through them. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. There's a second question. Oh, look at this. So another one of our uh, children who was confirmed, again, with hands open, ready, ready for the Holy Spirit to come upon them. The second question is this. Would you like to have a transformational, life-changing encounter with Jesus Christ in the next 12 months? So, if you are open to having the Holy Spirit come into your life in the next 12 months, asking the Holy Spirit to come and find a home in you, I invite you to come forward so we can pray for you. So, anyone here who would like to have a life-changing... Uh, whoa, good on you, Jacob. Come on. Isn't it great when the children lead the way? Come on. Anyone else who would like to have a life-changing, transformational encounter with Jesus Christ in the next 12 months? Wow. Wow, I might have to move back. <laughs> Wonderful. Fantastic. Good and gracious God, 
God of irresistible grace, we ask that you pour forth your Holy Spirit upon these your sons and daughters, these who thirst for the Holy Spirit, these who yearn that the Holy Spirit will come down and find a home in them. O oh Lord, may your Holy Spirit come down upon them. May your Holy Spirit find a home deep within them. May your Holy Spirit change them, transform them, so that their lives may be utterly, utterly given over to you. O oh God, help them to surrender themselves to your Spirit. Here I am, Lord, is it I, Lord, I have heard you calling in the night, I will go, Lord, if you Thank and praise you, Almighty God. Thank and praise you, Jesus Christ, Son of God. Thank and praise you, Holy Spirit. Come down upon these sons and daughters of yours. Live with them always. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please. Whoa, wasn't that wonderful? I wish we had a camera to take a photo. Never mind. Come back. There's another photo from one of the confirmations. Eddie, there, who had been baptized a Catholic as a child and had received Holy Communion as a child, but had never been confirmed. And he decided last year that he wants the Holy Spirit. And so he asked to be confirmed. And there he is standing before the Lord, hands open, heart wide open, ready for the Holy Spirit. There's a third question. Would you, those who haven't stood, would you be open to the Holy Spirit working through you and in you and with you when the time is right? So the Holy Spirit of God never, never, ever breaks into our lives. He never pushes his way into our lives. He never gate crashes our lives but he's ready when we are. He's ready to come, to come down upon us. So let's pray for all, for all of us, that we may always be open to God's Holy Spirit, that we may be always ready to receive him with hands open, with hearts open, ready, willing for the Holy Spirit to come down upon us. Glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to our days. Many are the blessings he bears to those who trust in his ways. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. My sisters and brothers, we are the body of Christ. We are the church of God.